The National Weather Service in Buffalo has issued a lake effect snow warning, which is in effect from noon to day to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday. The lake effect snow watch is no longer in effect. Locations, Erie, Genesee, and Wyoming counties. Timing, noon to day through late Friday morning. Accumulations, storm totals of 10 to 18 inches in the most persistent lake snows. Winds, southwest 20 to 30 miles an hour. Visibilities, as low as a quarter of a mile at times. Impacts, narrow bands of heavy lake effect snow across the... lake water and you've got some very cold air moving in above it okay so you get this big contrast in temperature it creates instability and convection which is basically just a fancy word for rising air so look at the look at the air rising I mean you can actually see this so this was a lake effect snow band that was so convective that it was actually acting like a thunderstorm and that's why you had lightning and thunder at <laughs> that wind direction where it goes some places could be seeing sunshine others could be seeing plenty of snow look at the difference alone buffalo airport only six inches three miles away that's it 42 inches of snow that is how quickly things can change that's the reason so many people are getting caught off guard welcome to south buffalo this is lake effect snow in full force you can see the blowing snow snow is coming down sometimes at two inches per hour there are areas around buffalo that have received almost 50 inches of snow another two feet possible tomorrow by the time this is said and done low end estimates could be 70 inches and Buffalo now in a state of emergency as the governor deploys the National Guard for help. This is a very serious storm. Up to six feet of snow and climbing. First responders carrying patients to the hospital on foot. The snow so deep in some places, snowmobiles can't operate. It's probably heavier than anything uh, that we have seen in over 40 years. From the sky, a wall of white. Snow is piling so high, so fast, it comes crashing into to this home. The snowfall up to five inches an hour, crippling emergency personnel. To the patient, we're going through uh, chest deep snow, the, the wind and the cold, all of our equipment's freezing up, just trying to get people out of their houses. You know, the snow drifts are up over some of their windows and doors. Actually like a uh, snowmobile trail groomer. And uh, we're utilizing it to place some trails to some of our, our patients and try to get them out. Uh, otherwise, it, it would have been hours before we can get to some of our some of our patients. New York State threw away right now, and uh, as you can see, there is quite a bit of snow. The throughway again closed from the Pennsylvania state line all the way up along the lake into Buffalo, and then all the way east to Henrietta near Rochester. State troopers have been going door to door on the throughway, trying to perform welfare checks to each driver that has been stuck now for going on many more than 15 hours. They're handing out granola bars and water, and uh, we're not sure if those drivers will be allowed to stay where they are. If you really think about it, this storm is basically a knife that went right through the heart of Erie County. Right here. This is what we're talking about. Straight like this. So you can see how difficult it would be for anybody in the North Towns to get south or from the South Towns to go north. Once you get past a certain point in Buffalo, that's when the city really becomes a wasteland. Anywhere that there's just a little bit of shelter from the storm is where we're seeing abandoned cars like these. People are either parking just to get out of the snow for a little bit or just leaving their cars here entirely. Other drivers weren't so lucky. Many got stuck in the thick of it, unable to move out of intersections like Clinton and Harlem. Meanwhile, back north, the streets are plowed. It's nice. Parts of downtown and Buffalo looked like any regular late November day. 
The roads are clear and people went about their days normally, but the sky not far off is a reminder of how closely this storm still looms. Blue sky with little white puffy clouds. You look over there, it's like, wow. County and state officials cannot stress enough. Stay off of the roads. It's simply not safe to be out here. You're looking right now at a live picture of these winds really whipping here in downtown Buffalo. Of course, Route 5 and the Skyway is closed. We have imposed a travel ban because people are coming from other areas of the community uh, going into the South Buffalo area and finding themselves getting stuck, which is compromising our snow removal effort. Pretty much as you can see from that video, not everybody listened to the idea of a travel ban. These images behind us out of West Seneca, New York. Yeah, abandoned trucks and cars everywhere after more than 60 inches of snow was dumped on that area over the last few days and more is coming. Right now, the National Weather Service is predicting that at the worst, there could be two to three more feet of snow in some of those areas. No, I really can't. It's and just amazing. that means if, if it hits the hardest affected areas already, it could mean a grand total of 90 to 100 inches of snow in some areas. In other words, eight feet. Or in other, other words, a year's worth of snow for one of the snowiest cities in America all in four days. Pressing the people, do not drive unless you absolutely have to. We've seen multiple people that had no reason to be out that are now either stranded in their car, injured. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo issued a state of emergency in 10 counties. First responders scrambled to assist as many people as they could, but near whiteout conditions brought deadly consequences. Sadly, uh, we have to announce we found on, on individual today, a uh, 46 year old male in the yeah. town of Alden. Um, car was buried under approximately uh, 12 to 15 feet of snow and uh, he was found uh, deceased. Clearing a path under these conditions is even stopping snow plow drivers in their tracks. Plows can no longer plow the snow. There's so much snow it's basically like plowing a brick wall. So I'm very sorry to report that we do have two additional deaths that have been confirmed. Again, these individuals uh, died. Um, a part of the reason is from exposure. They were found um, outside their, uh, either their home or a, a close friend's home, and, um, and they had probably been there overnight. The sun was out in Lackawanna today, shining a light on just what the city is dealing with now. Front end loaders barely making it down the street as they work to clear the roads littered with abandoned cars, even an abandoned bus. Some residents who had to get out found a new mode of transportation. The store is almost empty. No bread. <laughs> no bread. No cheese. No, yeah. It's getting bad down there. With the threat of another snowy blast looming, crews have been working around the clock to dig out roadways. Running into about anywhere from six to seven feet. Side streets, they're kind of haven't been touched yet, so there's a lot of people that are still kind of locked down in their houses. We're trying to get the main routes open first. This morning, neighbors in Orchard Park had a chance to take advantage of the last few hours of calm before a new storm. These were a common sight as sidewalks and most driveways remain buried. With people scrambling to restock before the next round of snow, grocery stores have been picked over. Bread's gone. There is no bread. Milk's getting real low. We've already been told in some places that the beer selection is getting low as well, but it seems like you made out okay. We're okay. One after another, dump trucks are lining up, backing up, and clearing out all the snow they've collected from the streets of South Buffalo. Mother Nature really kicked our butts. <laughs> it's just hard to, it, it's hard to deal with. It's not because we're not ready for it. It's just because there's just so much snow. Cars are covered by feet of snow. Some are still being towed by the city of Buffalo. By all accounts, the situation in South Buffalo will get worse before it gets better, with more snow expected by Friday. This is going to take about a it's going to take about a week to get this thing, get this city, you know, back into where it belongs. But once we get there, we'll be all right. Uh, there will certainly be more collapses. Uh, we're asking people to be very careful. If they, if the house structure that they're in is behaving unusually, they hear cracks or groaning, or it seems like doors and windows that normally open don't any longer, get out and call for help. Don't stay and wait.